the Voodoo Child, Deuce Bigelow, and the Undercover Brother. Give it up for the living legend of comedy, Mr. Eddie Griffin! What's happening, ATL? What's happening, ATL? If you hear the noise, it's probably this nigga right here. Let's get to this shit. What's happening? God damn it. Back in the ATL. Y'all looking good, damn it. Want to thank y'all for coming out and sharing this experience with a brother. You understand me? The show is called Freedom of Speech, and you're going to hear a lot of that go on this evening. Because right. as you can tell, they've been fucking with me all year. You know what I'm saying? I've been on TV more than a nigga been in a movie this year. You know, I was on TV originally for wrecking a car. Now, I told them I couldn't drive from Jump Street. You know, we was doing this celebrity charity race, right? It's me, Wycliffe. Jackie Chan is the only Chinese motherfucker I know that can drive. Because that little motherfucker was getting, die, 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 die. And uh, uh, Lil Bow Wow and Jermaine Dupree. Now, Jermaine's short ass is doing like 20 miles an hour going around the track. I'm like, man, fuck this nigga, give me the car. So the billionaire Daniel came over, he's like, Eddie, what car you want to drive? You know, this motherfucker rich, all them cars is his. He had Lamborghinis and shit and Ferraris. I said, I'll take that red one right there. He's like, well, that happens to be the most expensive car here. I said, well, excuse a nigga for having good taste. <laughs> Hand me the keys, motherfucker. So I get in that bitch, nigga. Now I go around the real track. They had made a track for us inside of it with all the little cones and shit. I said, fuck that, nigga, I'm in this bitch. I took that Enzo out on the real track, nigga. I'm tearing that bitch up, got up to 220. And the motherfucking billionaire on the side like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, and in the car, it looked like he was saying, go, Eddie, go. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm getting down, the motherfucker got in the middle of the track. No, 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 driving track here, track here. I'm like, this little punk ass go-kart shit. So I'm going around this motherfucker, I'm doing about 90. Somebody put the tightest turn on the track next to the little brick wall shit. Now I turned the car, car kept going straight. Nigga hit brick wall, motherfucker did a 360 in that hooker. Bam! Nigga, I'm like, is nigga live? Now airbags work in that motherfucker. All three of them came out, blah, blah, blah. I thought it was an extra motherfucker in the car. What the fuck you doing? Nigga, I ain't never had airbags deploy on me, nigga. Some powder shit come out of them. Look like smoke to me. I'm a real simple-minded man. Smoke must be fire. <laughs> nigga, I'm unhooking. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Soon as I get out, the camera's right there. You understand me? That's why I'm doing like this, nigga. Hold on. <laughs> nigga gotta look good, because the news always want that fucked up shot of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eddie Griffin work hard. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, I'm doing my shit, and this reporter gonna ask me, so, Eddie, what do you think about it? I said, well, undercover brother can do karate, tell jokes, can't drive. <laughs> so here come the paramedics. They're like, oh, yes, would you come with us? We need to take you and put you in the ambulance. So I get in the ambulance. Now, I know you white people in here saying ambulance, but we black, we say ambulance. <laughs> so I'm in the ambulance, and they put the little heart monitor shit on me. Nigga, my heart was 220, about as fast as I was going, <laughs> over 190 something. And the paramedic's like, would you like to go to the hospital? I said, motherfucker, wouldn't your heart be racing after you ran into a brick motherfucking wall? He's like, well, you have a point there. I said, well, nigga, I'm gonna point myself in the right direction. Out your ambulance. I've been in the ambulance before. Y'all charge $400 for oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> and walked the fuck out and got me some cognac. Because around that time, nigga need a drink. So I'm sitting there, you know, I'm feeling kind of fucked up about fucking up this motherfucker car. And little billionaire, he just walking back and forth. He says, do you do me like you? I said, calm down, motherfucker. Wycliffe, the only brother that came over, he said, I'm gonna tell you something. Me seen you hit the wall, car go in the air, flip around. Not a scratch on you. Angels travel with you now, fork the car. <laughs> so I raised my head back up, nigga. I'm like, yeah, nigga, fuck that car. They can make another motherfucking car, can't make another motherfucking Eddie Griffin. Then the next shit I'm on the news, man, I went down to Miami. You know, this is about Al Sharpton who got on the news, you know, talking about Eddie said the N-word shit. Let me tell y'all the real story, because the news only gonna give you half of the shit. 
Nigga, I've flown down to Miami for the... <laughs> for the Black Enterprise uh, golf tennis extravaganza. Now, why they fly my ignorant black ass for some golf tennis extravaganza shit is beyond me to begin with. Because I don't play no motherfucking golf, nigga. I don't like the game. You got to hit a little motherfucking ball, then walk and go hit the motherfucker again. <laughs> Take too much goddamn time. Just pick the shit up, got it. <laughs> so I'm down there. Now, they told me I was there to present. Now, I don't know if you know what presenting is. You know, I get on stage and I say, and the next motherfucker is, good night. <laughs> oh, so I'm sitting there with Moore's Day, nigga. We by the ninth hole at the bar drinking and shit. So Moore's like, are you going to show out tonight? I said, Mars, hold on, nigga. <laughs> I'm here to present, motherfucker. He's like, that ain't what the brochure said. <laughs> so I look at the brochure, man. They got me performing. So five minutes before I'm getting ready to go on to present, Earl Gray Jr. walks up to me. He's like, Eddie, crowd here to see you, man. They want you to do your thing, bro. You understand me? Give them a show, bro. I said, excuse me, brother. Don't you get paid for selling your magazine? Well, I get paid for slanging jokes. You understand me? You ain't about to trick a free show out of niggas, so go find me some joke money. <laughs> and then jokes can be told. So they go have a huddle. They could come back, you know, they found my money. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we can do show now. He's like, can you do me a favor, brother? Can you not say the N-word or MF? I said, nigga, you mean motherfucker? <laughs> Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm an artist, motherfucker. This is what I do for 22 goddamn years. Nick, if you want it, Bill Cosby, no disrespect to Dr. Cosby's form of humor, but if you want it, Dr. Cosby, you should have hired him, nigga. This is Eddie Griffin. I say nigga. I'm an artist. You wouldn't tell Picasso not to cut his motherfucking ear off. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like telling Prince, go on stage, but don't play the guitar, nigga. <laughs> so they go have another huddle. He come back, he's like, Ed, hey, you can do you. I said, brother, I'm gonna give you one more chance. I can give you this money back. I can go on and present because I see these bougie motherfuckers in the audience might not understand it. He said, no, Ed, you can do you. I said, I'm gonna give you one more chance, nigga. He said, no, Ed, you can do you. I said, all right, cool. Nigga, I go out on stage, I grab the mic, and them niggas back there tripping. They gonna tell me not to say the N-word, that would be nigga. So I guess I have to say motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. And I said, I don't even know what the motherfucking trip is. OJ killed a white woman, Walt. Kobe supposedly raped one, Walt. Michael Vick killed a dog, the nigga going to jail. That's when they cut the mic off. <laughs> so I dropped the mic, nigga, I said, And walk the fuck off. <laughs> so Earl Gray Jr. and them came over and apologized afterwards, you know, because I'm saying, man, this straight up and down was a black on black crime, motherfucker. You supposed to be fighting for my right to say whatever the fuck I want to say, nigga. <laughs> you understand me? I should call this motherfucker special, nigga, please. <laughs> so I'm sitting at home, man. Now, I'm used to watching Britney Spears get fucked with, you know, for sucking a dick and showing a pussy. <laughs> you know, Paris Hilton done sucked another dick in the club. You know, I'm like, all right, cool. It's a trip when it's you. I'm sitting at the crib, all of a sudden, nigga, Eddie Griffin says N-word, mic's cut off. I said, nigga, what the fuck is this? The motherfuckers apologized. Then they had Al Sharpton and his daughter on, nigga. They wasn't even at the show. This is shit that pissed me off with brother Al. I know this motherfucker. When I'm in New York, he in the audience having a nigga good time. <laughs> when he in LA, we at the Four Seasons tossing him back like a motherfucker. What's up, my nigga, you perm head hypocrite motherfucker? <laughs> you didn't fuck with the right one now, nigga. You not my leader, motherfucker. How you gonna lead me to a salon? I got one question for Al Sharpton, nigga. You a rebel, where's your church? Where is your church, nigga? <laughs> Let's get real real with it, nigga. Ain't you got more issues to deal with? Like nooses being hung all over the motherfucking place? The Genesis 6 jumping the fuck off? 
our right to vote being up next month if they don't pass the Bill of Rights in this motherfucker. But you want to fuck with a comedian saying, nigga, nigga, fuck you. Or I should call the special, nigga, please. <laughs> fuck wrong with you crazy motherfuckers. Nigga, I am a nigga and proud to be that. You understand me? There's African-Americans and there's niggas. Now, this nigga here, <laughs> the best word I can give another black man is that's my nigga. It's a term of endearment that we use amongst ourselves. White people do not say it. You will get fucked up. Because <laughs> they don't say nigga. They say nigger. See, it's that growling part. The er sound like they growling. Nigger. That shit sound like ropes and nooses and shit. <laughs> You understand me? But nigga is a term of endearment. When I say that's my nigga, that's ride or die. That means we do what the fuck we got to do, handle our business together, nigga. You understand me? It don't even sound right to say that's my African-American. That's my black guy. No, that's my nigga. You understand me? White people got their word they call each other, redneck, cracker. Ain't nobody telling Jeff Foxworthy's motherfucking ass to stop saying you a redneck if. They always concerned with what the fuck a nigga saying. <laughs> and if you want to get down to the real truth of it, the reason they want to get rid of the word nigga is because they can't say it without getting their ass whooped. So finally they got something they can't say and they mad that uh, we can't say it, the niggas can't say it either. <laughs> Let's get Al Sharpton and Jesse and it has to start a movement to get rid of nigger. If you get rid of nigger, you just got rid of me and a bunch of other black men in this motherfucking country. You understand me? And Al Sharpton and Earl Graves, with all respect to them two motherfuckers and what they do. But if I'm your youngster, nigga, and you my elder, you got an issue with me saying, nigga, nigga, sit down at the table with me and explain your case. But don't go to the media, jump on the motherfucking TV set like you gonna clown this man here, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Because <laughs> for me, nigga stands for non-immigrants gaining, gathering, achieving. We the only people that didn't immigrate to this motherfucker. Somebody picked us the fuck up. <laughs> nigga, we was in Africa chilling like a motherfucker. Didn't nobody want to come over to this shit. Nigga, we in Africa, we had all the gold, all the diamonds, all the land. White people had all the Bibles. Now we got all the Bibles. White people got all the gold, all the diamonds, all the land. Somebody got gained. <laughs> mm -hmm. As Brother Malcolm said, by any motherfucking means necessary, right? <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> now I'd like to take this time out to thank you, white people, for bringing us here to America. Shit started out fucked up, <laughs> but it's kind of good now. <laughs> you understand me? We own Atlanta. <laughs> This is the new chocolate city, nigga. You come down Atlanta, ain't nothing but chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. You know, I only see a few white people here. Look at it, they just like, well, you know, uh, used to be ours, Stone Mountain. <laughs> Those were the good old days. You could just hang a nigger, and now they own every fucking thing. <laughs> Hell, motherfucker, yeah. See, I ain't got no problem with white folks, you understand me? Because, you know, it's the sneaky white people I don't like. You know, I like rednecks myself, because rednecks is straight up down, honest in the motherfucker. Every time I do a show in the South, nigga, redneck come after the show. You's a funny nigga. <laughs> Them motherfuckers just straight up, you's a funny nigga. I'll be like, all right, cracker. Next thing you know, we sitting at the bar chilling, having a drink, talking shit. I don't like them sneaky white people. Well, you were, you know, you were okay. And then as soon as they walk away, nigger. Give me a redneck any day, cause niggas and rednecks, when we go to war, nigga, we handle our business. I'd rather have a redneck on the front line with me, nigga, if I gotta go somewhere, nigga, that redneck will be right there. What the hell we gonna do, boy? <laughs> uh, you tell me what the hell's going on? Now, well, goddamn, this is urban warfare. You grew up in the hood. What block are they coming from? Cause you know a brother gonna be like, man, if I was over here, I'd be hiding that motherfucker right over there, nigga. That's where them bitches is at, right over there, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz, they over there, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas in Iraq, sea walking, nigga. <laughs> 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 that redneck be like this, okay, here's what I want you to do. 
I want you to smoke them out with that wacky tobacco you call a blunt. <laughs> Once he comes out of there, I'm gonna shoot him in the fucking head with a 30 out six. Goddamn right, I hunt back home. Some rednecks, some hunting motherfuckers, boy, they can shit a fly off a dead's head 500 yards. They ain't bullshit. <laughs> shit, I was still chilling with a redneck partner of mine a couple of weeks ago. They got some nigga jokes for your ass. <laughs> no, I ain't bullshitting. Them motherfuckers got some jokes. And you don't want to laugh, but the shit be funny in the motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker said, Eddie, I got a joke for you. Since you're the funny man. I said, well, go right ahead, Skeeter. <laughs> said, what do you call a nigger in a tree with a suit and a briefcase? I said, I don't know. Branch manager. <laughs> I wanted to hit the motherfucker, but you gotta let. <laughs> he said, I ain't done yet, boy. I got another one. <laughs> What's the difference between a nigger and a snow tire? Snow tire don't sing when you put chains on it. So after I got done whooping his ass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I couldn't have lived back in slave days, man. I would not have survived. I'm a little too ignorant. <laughs> you understand know me? Because they gave some fucked up choices back in the day. We're going to chop off your dick or your foot. If I was alive back then, I'd be in that long foot line. <laughs> You know, you're gonna get that last use out there, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, go on, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Fight out. Because I can hobble over to some pussy. <laughs> Can't show up with two good feet and no dick. And as crazy as my black ass is, nigga, I'd have been a second offender. Can't run fast with one of them, nigga. <laughs> Bye -bye. Nigga, still gonna be fucking. <laughs> oh, shit. But don't worry, white people, y'all time coming. Well, go around, come around. You understand me? That's why they trying to fuck up the government right now, nigga, and leave this huge deficit because they know a nigga gonna win. <laughs> so they're like, well, it's gonna be a black president. Make sure everything's fucked up. <laughs> See if he can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> and a nigga gonna fix it because we know how to do shit with no money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, white people, I can't wait till we get to whip y'all and change y'all name. It's gonna be a good ass day. Fire! What's your name? Steve! Because you know white people are fighting. What's your name? Steve! They get one of them big burly brothers. Black! Shaka! Shaka Zulu! Get your ass out there and pick that cotton. Can I have some suntan lotion? God, it's hot out here, I ain't peeling. <laughs> White people couldn't have picked cotton for more than five minutes. <laughs> Them motherfuckers be out there complaining, where's my attorney? I'm suing. It's fucking bullshit, man, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take a good look at that white man. That's cracker right there. Now, this motherfucker said that uh, sisters were some nappy head hoes. Now, what I didn't understand is why people got so upset about that, because this motherfucker been talking crazy shit forever. You understand me? And a couple of them sister shit was fucked up. <laughs> and the shit that cracked me up, the next day when they did the new conference, all of them had a perm, <laughs> including the coach. I don't even know why they fired this motherfucker, because I knew he was going to get a job two weeks later. 
You understand me? Somebody already rehired that motherfucker, gave him a $20 million contract so he could talk that same bullshit. Now he got more fans, because now the next are like, God damn it, he's a hero. He took on the niggers. <laughs> he called them nappy head hoes. I'm tuning in every day. <laughs> like, I got freedom of speech. He got the freedom to say whatever the fuck he want to say. I don't listen to the punk motherfucker show no way. <laughs> Nigga, I wouldn't have fired his ass. I'd have said, take his check, pay the tuition to all them sisters. You understand me? Take his sponsor's money, give that to the United Negro College Fund. Then I walked right into his motherfucking office and said, who's the nappy head hoe now? Because we pimping your ass, punk. Now get on the air and say nigga 17 times so I can get my check, bitch. <laughs> You know, the media is the problem. These motherfuckers right here, the TV media motherfuckers is the problem. How many of y'all think there's more black men in jail than in college? That's a motherfucking lie. There's more black men in college than there is in jail. By 200 to 300,000 more. But you'll never know with these tricky motherfuckers because all they show about us, a black man is fucked up. He's in jail. He robbed somebody. They're killing him. Nigga, tell me about George Bush. Nigga, I might have stole the Snickers. This motherfucker stole the country. <laughs> this retarded motherfucker. And nothing against retarded people because them motherfuckers is smarter than this ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> you understand me? I can't wait till this punk motherfucker get the fuck up out the office. He got to go. And I know a lot of motherfuckers scared to talk about this little midget son of a bitch, but I'm not fucking. You understand me? This motherfucker straight from the gates of hell. He pulled off the biggest robbery in history. Him and his cronies. <laughs> and I've been watching the debates and shit, nigga, trying to figure out, you know, who I'm going to vote for and shit, you know. You know, man, I, I like Obama a little bit, but there's something slick about that nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he don't answer questions. He's like, what you think about taxes? I'm Obama. <laughs> What you think about housing? I'm Obama. You slippery motherfucker. You understand me? Now, I like Hillary because she already proved she's a ride and die bitch. You understand me? Her husband getting his dick sucking in the over office, nigga. Everybody telling her, write a book, kill him. What the fuck? Put him on trial. She like, that's what he do. <laughs> Y'all didn't know? That pimp nigga do that shit. <laughs> I ain't worried about that bitch. She didn't get nothing but a mouthful of nut. That nigga coming home. <laughs> and you know Bill ain't nothing but a big pimp. That's my nigga if he get any bigger. That's the first president to move out the White House to Harlem. 126th Street. He like, fuck it. I know these white people want to kill me. I'm going to surround myself with nothing but niggas. <laughs> Y'all going to have to make it through these niggas here to get me. <laughs> and you know he pimping. He like Hillary. You gonna run for the Senate. I don't wanna be a senator. Bitch, what did I say? <laughs> mm -hmm. Then after that, you gonna run for the presidency. I don't wanna be the president. What did I say? <laughs> that nigga gonna fuck around, get back in the White House, getting his dick sucked again. <laughs> and this time, he'll be on camera. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't the president. Talk to me what? Shit. Dick sucking is, is a beautiful thing. I'd like to thank you, ladies. <laughs> Hell yeah, shit, because I, I used to jack off a lot. I mean, a lot of us did. You know, men in here, we start around age 12. You know, right when you get in that first little tingle at the tip of your dick, you know, you touch it one time, and motherfuckers like, hmm. <laughs> you like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Shit, that feel kind of good. <laughs> Wipe it down, that really feel good. Then you throw some lotion on your shit. Nigga, that's really excellent. <laughs> then around 15, nigga, you start getting inspiration. You know, my moms didn't have like Playboy, Victoria's Secret and all that shit, nigga. We had the Sears catalog. <laughs> so I go right to the panty section, nigga. Sitting in the bathroom, nigga, I'm turning pages. You can get it. You can get it. Oh yeah, bitch, you can get it too. <laughs> Nigga, have you ever been busted jacking off? <laughs> nigga, I'm sitting there jacking off, nigga. Mom's walk in the bathroom. I forgot to lock the motherfucking door. 
Nigga, I'm going to town on this motherfucker. You know when you get that thumb action. The professionals know what I'm talking about. You gotta hit the helmet of that motherfucker right there with the thumb, nigga. You're like, yeah, that's that shit. Uh-huh, yeah, right there, right there. I'm sitting there, nigga, and I'm talking, I'm going to town, nigga. You know when your eyes is curling up in your head, nigga. You can see what you're thinking, nigga, like, yeah. Nigga, the door open, nigga, I looked up, froze. Mom's like, boy, what you doing? Uh. <laughs> See, we was playing football, and I got tackled, and then some dirt got on it, so I'm trying to wash it off. <laughs> My mom shut the door, nigga, all you heard, because her and her girlfriend's in the living room. Eddie in there jacking off. <laughs> and that's some fucked up shit, niggas. I'm sitting there, nigga. Now you gotta wipe your shit up, nigga, get up, and walk by everybody. <laughs> and motherfuckers are like, mmm, mmm, nasty, you nasty. Nigga, I start dropping dime on my older brother. I ain't the only one, Luther do it too. <laughs> that nigga showed me how. <laughs> I think you should jack off every three days. No, real talk, niggas, I, I have a theory that this is where retarded children come from and, and twisted, messed up children. Because what happens, you let them sperm get old, nigga, they sit there and they get old, the tail get raggedy, and it finally make it to the egg with his little raggedy ass, and then the baby come out raggedy. I think that's where gay men come from, nigga. The sperm get weak and shit, nigga, and that motherfucker swim all the way to the egg. Then the baby come out, hi. <laughs> Blow that motherfucker out, nigga, so you can have a strong baby. Tail good, motherfucker come out football player, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Get that old shit out of there, nigga, don't save it. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I blow my shit out every three days. And then I'll pay ya. That's why I got eight healthy kids, nigga, not one of them fucked up. <laughs> this sister look like this. Woo, nigga, hey. <laughs> yes, this motherfucker works. <laughs> My mama told me to go get clipped. She said, boy, get your dick clipped. Because <laughs> you just having too many of them. I said, mama, I want 12. <laughs> Fuck the dumb shit. Because motherfuckers keep telling us. Remember, we come from large families, 15, 12 kids. Now niggas done got bushy and shit. They're only gonna have one or two kids, a son and a daughter. <laughs> Nigga, we running out of niggas. As many niggas getting shot and locked the fuck up. <laughs> you understand me? We need to resupply. I'm doing my part, how about you? <laughs> what the fuck, nigga, shit. Have them kids, nigga. Fuck that abortion shit. That's some crazy shit, nigga. Don't get no motherfucking abortion. So what, nigga, you broke. You and the baby broke now. Nigga, we know how to survive, nigga. We black people. Shit. <laughs> nigga, I've been broke longer than I've been rich. Don't get it twisted. Nigga, I remember sugar sandwiches. Remember the motherfuckers? You get the bread, put the butter on the motherfucker so the sugar would stick to the motherfucker, and then put it in the oven, nigga. Nice. <laughs> then you hyper in the motherfucker running around the house. Your mama like, sit down, boy. What the fuck you running around for? I'm on a sugar high. Shit. Nigga, I remember mustard sandwiches. Hell yeah, nigga. Not mayonnaise, the mustard sandwich, nigga. Mayonnaise slippery, like mm -hmm. Mustard sandwich, nigga, that little tang at the end of the mustard, you could damn near taste the meat. You know, you trick yourself, nigga. It's some bologna in this motherfucker. <laughs> White people commit suicide over simple shit. The lights are off. <laughs> oh God, it's ended all. The fucking lights are gone. Nigga, lights go out, nigga, we take them two extension cords. Plug into the neighbor's house. It's like, look, we're gonna give you extra hundred dollars on your bill so we can go and keep this TV set on. No problem, no problem. Hell yeah, my grandfather didn't play, nigga. I remember I was fucking with granddaddy one day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm pretty good, old man. I don't know if you wanna fuck around, I'm pretty good. Granddaddy like, I know that, 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 that's what you doing? With all that hopping around and shit. You play this rolling your little fist up? Think you good, huh, Eddie? That nigga hit me in the throat. Pay out! 
That stop everything, nigga. Just one punch, nigga. Airway. I'm, where the fuck is some air? <laughs> Granddaddy, we sit out on the front porch, take a fifth of Jack Daniels, nigga, to the head. I'm talking about one hit, everything gone. <laughs> then set the motherfucker down. God damn. <laughs> God. And sit right on the porch, nigga, and piss on itself. <laughs> I'm like, granddaddy, you pissed on yourself. Yeah, that's my porch. It's my pants. If I want to piss, that's what the fuck I'm going to do. You want to clean it up? No, I'm cool. Don't go on fucking with me then. <laughs> my grandmother comes down. She's like, now, nah, I'm getting ready to go to church, baby. If you need anything, you goddamn right I need something. I need some food. I bet you Jesus ain't hungry. You make it to that nigga every Sunday on time. <laughs> that nigga ain't even here yet. She's like, now don't you talk about the Lord, I'm gonna have to get with you. That nigga get real quiet. Cause I seen Big Mama hit him in the head with a cane. Pay out, what the fuck did I just say? The made me cuss, oh Lord, forgive me. <laughs> I think the 60s is where we fucked up as a people. You understand me? We started marching and looking for white people to save us. We shall overcome. I'm like, nigga, you don't march for freedom. <laughs> nigga, marching ain't done shit for us. You don't march for freedom. Freedom is a state of mind. They don't put it on sale at a grocery store. You ain't seen nothing in aisle nine called freedom. You want something for free, you must be dumb. That's why they call it free dumb. Freedom is a state of mind, motherfucker. You want to be free, motherfucker say, be at work at nine o'clock. Fuck you, I'm coming at 10. That's freedom. You get off at five. Fuck you, I'm leaving at 3.30. I'm going to pick my kids up. Because nowadays, nigga, you got to damn near go to school with your kids. It's rough being a kid nowadays. I'm telling you the motherfucking truth. Nigga, you better listen to your kids when they say, I don't want to go to school. They trying to tell you something. Mr. Abernathy's fucking them. You understand me? They don't want to go to church either. The goddamn preachers and priests are fucking them. You know what I mean? Like, you want to stay after Sunday school? Mm-mm. <laughs> when then last week, that motherfucker pulled up the robe, he didn't have no drawers on. <laughs> no wonder kids is carrying guns to school, nigga. They trying to protect themselves. <laughs> Get your freak ass back, motherfucker. <laughs> I teach my kids at home. That's right, nigga. I set them right down. One plus one equal three. <laughs> Y'all laughing, that's some real talk, nigga. One plus one equal three. You understand me? One plus one always equal three. The space between you and I has weight and volume, so you must count it. One plus one equals one also if we utilize that plus. One plus one equals one. Man and woman become married, you become what? One, never two. How many motherfucking balls you got? You got two balls and a dick, she's got two ovaries and a clit. Again, three to make one sexual organ. <laughs> and you count from either side of your hand, you gonna get to fuck you. Freedom. <laughs> you understand know I me? Mean? We live in a three-dimensional motherfucking plane. Life is on the third planet from the sun, not the second. Ain't nobody laying down on a piece of paper looking at each other. There's only three major motherfucking elements. Air, land, which is your flesh. Water, which is your blood. You walking on a third of yourself. She's called Mother Earth. She gave birth to your ass. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Your maggot food ass going right back to her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, nigga sitting there like, oh, damn, I didn't know that nigga was that sharp. <laughs> that nigga been hiding this shit all these years. <laughs> what, y'all thought it was just Michael Jackson on crack? Nigga, that's the way in the dose. <laughs> Once a nigga get in, you gotta be real smooth, nigga. You understand know me? On this one here, nigga, I'm telling everything. I don't give a fuck. I expect my phone to be bugged after this motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me Einstein was a genius. I don't believe Einstein was a genius. I believe he was a crazy little Jewish dude with some fucked up hair looking at rocks talking about he time traveling. Because the motherfucker said the theory of relativity equals MC squared times the speed of light. It don't need me to disprove because it's been over 40 years, it's still a motherfucking theory. When's it gonna be a fact? <laughs> you understand know I me? Mean? Meaning energy equals mass squared times the speed of light. If this is true, how come a little motherfucker can whoop a big motherfucker's ass? <laughs> He's got more mass, therefore he should have more energy. Why am I fucking him up, Einstein? Why, why, why? Because he left one small detail out of his equation. Spirit. Or as in the uh, uh, Asian philosophy, they call it chi. Chi-ko. 
a little motherfucker have a spirit as vast as the universe. A big motherfucker have a spirit the size of a grain of corn. I'ma dominate his big bitch ass every time. So the real equation is E equals MP squared times the speed of darkness. Marinate on that for a minute. <laughs> MP would be metaphysical, the unweighable. Times the speed of darkness, because another lie taught us in school, nothing travels faster than the speed of light. You ever heard of a black hole in space that light can't escape? Must be moving faster than light if light can't get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> Even God said, out of eternal darkness, let there be light. So what color is God? Black. <laughs> As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. Two black people can get together and have a white person. It's called an albino. Two white people can't get together and have a nigga I know. <laughs> you understand me? So don't be mad at white people. They're your children. You know what I mean? They starting to come of age. They growing asses now. Keep a beat, nigga. You know what I mean? They was just little crazy kids. We had so many of them in Africa, we ran them out because they looked different. So the shit started with us. We fucked up, we got rid of our kids. Said, you motherfuckers look strange, get the fuck out. And they went to the Caucasus Mountains of Europe, thus the name Caucasian. And what happens when you put a kid up for adoption? When they get old enough, they come and find their biological parents. Didn't them motherfuckers come and find us? <laughs> come on, mom and dad, get on the fucking boat, you're coming with me. You're gonna get a new name, you fucker. <laughs> Teach me how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit, I would go to church, but I need my money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't even see myself. <laughs> Y'all ever been to a white church? Oh, nigga, I went to a white church on my journey trying to find, you know, the truth. Nigga, I like black churches, you know, even though we know the preacher hustling and getting some money. But when the choir starts singing at a black church, you feel like the Lord is there somewhere. Some sisters get to blowing, ah, Jesus, no, man. Niggas start getting up. <laughs> Jesus in this motherfucker somewhere. <laughs> nigga, I went to that white church. Nigga, the white priest come out, nigga, with a robe on. White robe. Looking like the Klan. <laughs> Same cone hat. <laughs> They burn crosses, them motherfuckers wear them. There's a connection. And that motherfucker floated up to the podium. I want you to turn with me to first Timothy 3, 4, 5, and 6. <laughs> they them thou art who knows the covenant and thou knowest and thou thou it. No motherfucking feeling. At least a black preacher been there. And I said to Jesus, it's coming down today. And the nigga know I'm sorry, Lord. And the nigga know. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that white choir came out. Now it's 50 white people in white robes looking like the Klan. And when them motherfuckers start singing, it sound like that Damien Omen shit. <laughs> Nigga, I expected the devil come walking out. Y'all like that one? I got one more before I go. <laughs> I believe in God, man. I don't believe in religion. I think religion is fucked up. You understand me? Because I think crazy white people wrote the Bible. You understand me? You know anything white people call it the word. I believe God wrote his word in your essence. You understand me? That's the genius of my father. It's written in your essence. Nobody ever had to tell you it's wrong to kill your mama. Somehow you innately know that. <laughs> so you born knowing right and wrong, nigga. Then you got this book that'll fuck your head up, nigga. Cause I sit there and read the motherfucker over and over again and some of the stories don't hold water, nigga. How the fuck you gonna tell me Adam and Eve was the only two people and then they had children. What do you do, fuck his daughter? How the fuck the rest of us get here? <laughs> Incestual motherfucker, you freak. <laughs> then he told us Noah built an ark. 60 cubits by 80 cubits by 40 cubits. How the fuck you get every animal on earth two by two in this motherfucker? It's in Africa. How'd the deer from North America get there? Did they swim? 
Did they meet the nigga halfway? <laughs> what crazy white man wrote this shit? Think about it. It's like nursery rhyme stories. Niggas said Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. What the fuck is Jack and Jill going up a hill to get water for? Water flows downhill. <laughs> Them little motherfuckers was up there fucking. <laughs> That's why they said Jill broke, broke, broke down and broke her crown. Nigga, she lost her virginity. That motherfucker was fucking. I don't believe Jesus died on the cross. This is God's son. He could walk on water, feed a thousand with a loaf of bread. How the fuck three nails killed this nigga? I know niggas with nine bullet wounds still walking around. His name is 50 Cent. You telling me this nigga colder than Jesus? <laughs> Think about it, think. It ain't illegal yet, think. <laughs> don't just read shit and just believe it. Yeah, that's the truth, it's in the book that the white man gave me and now I don't have a country. <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? You know I mean? I think the whole world is at war right now over motherfucking religion. That's all this Iraq shit is about. The motherfucking Christian faith wants a foothold in Muslim territory. Why? Because Christianity is conducive to Wall Street. Islam is not conducive to Wall Street. You're not gonna sell no Nikes because they wear their own shit. You ain't gonna sell no Maybelline because them bitches got bells on. It's not conducive to making money. Now Jesus, he conducive to making money. Jesus let you fuck all week, suck some dick, Smoke some weed, give him $20 on Sunday, he cool. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad way too strict. Got a face to eat five times a day. Nigga be at the club getting your groove on, nigga, that time hit. Nigga, where to eat? <laughs> nigga got to travel with a compass, nigga. <laughs> and be in the club, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers think you got a new dance. Nigga, what the fuck? Is <laughs> <laughs> so the war is really about religion. You understand me? It's between Jesus and Muhammad. Because motherfuckers argue over who the messenger is. The Christians say Jesus is the messenger. The Muslims say Muhammad is the messenger. Who gives a fuck who the messenger is? Did you get the message? <laughs> they got the same goddamn message. Did you get the message? <laughs> it's like killing a mailman because it wasn't the same mailman last week. Did you get your check, motherfucker? <laughs> who gives a fuck who brought the motherfucker? <laughs> Both of them brothers said, do not praise me, praise he who sent me. But everybody caught up, oh, Jesus, Jesus, help me, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus sent up there, nigga, that ain't my job, that's my pop's job. <laughs> yeah. If I was Jesus, I wouldn't come back. I ain't bullshit. God be like, uh, Jesus, time to go back. No, fuck no. <laughs> Hell no, last time I was down there, they nailed a nigga up. Hell no. Them motherfuckers got guns now, I ain't got shit. You can kiss my ass. Send Moses, that nigga got a stick. <laughs> Send David, at least that nigga got a slingshot. I'm your only son, Pop. Why you keep doing this shit to me, man? <laughs> I can hear some Christian minds in here. He going to hell. Because <laughs> Christians can't wait to send somebody to hell. You going to hell. Who the fuck told you? You know what I mean? Like God came down and said, let that nigga know he going to hell. I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> I made in God's image. If I have a sense of humor, that means my father has a sense of humor. God probably up there cracking up right now. He probably up there, hey, Jesus, come here. That crazy nigga I made his own. <laughs> he was talking about you, nigga. He said you whistle like this. <laughs> oh, don't get mad, nigga. That shit was funny. That shit was funny. <laughs> I don't know why motherfuckers try to make God this uptight motherfucker, man. If you know everything, the Alpha and the Omega, the nigga that made you, what pisses this nigga off? Nothing. Because he already know what's coming. That nigga's just sitting back, tuning into all of us. We ain't nothing but a TV station for him. There is now damn near 7 billion TV networks for God to tune into. He's like, yeah, let's turn on the Eddie station. Dog, oh, that nigga still doing that shit on stage. <laughs> Let's turn the, let's turn the little Tay-Tay station. That bitch still sucking a dick. <laughs> I watched a white porno last week for the first time. <laughs> nigga, nigga. No, cause I grew up with Uncle Curtis, nigga. You know, we, 
we have family pornos. <laughs> you understand me? So I tuned into a white porno one night, nigga. White people, y'all some trippy motherfuckers. Nasty in y'all pornos. Y'all just be talking bad to a bitch. Suck my cock. <laughs> Suck fuck cock. You know what I get down to your whore? Fucking whore? Just be beating the bitch out in the head with a dick. <laughs> like, why y'all so evil on the pussy, nigga? <laughs> Black porno, we just be showing out. Bitch, you ain't never seen a chicken wing, huh? <laughs> you know, ain't many uh, black men with short dicks. You know, there's a few of us out there. Oh, you know who you are. Ladies, look at the nigga next to you. He looking straight ahead like this? It's him. That motherfucker ain't trying to look in your direction. He hoping you don't point at his ass. Eddie, this nigga here. <laughs> There's a few short dick motherfuckers out there. And if you got a short dick, I really feel for you because you know your woman's fucking somebody else. Oh no, she stayed with you because she loved you. But she got to get some real dick somewhere else. That's why they have girls night out. If your woman is having girls night out twice, three times a week, nigga, you the short dick motherfucker. Because bitches ain't meeting that often. Most times, females don't like hanging out with each other that long because they know that other bitch is lying about lying about lying. <laughs> and don't trust the bitch around a man because she think the bitch trying to fuck what I got. You understand me? When they going out on girls night, she going to meet. <laughs> That nigga shows up. How you doing, baby? <laughs> you know, a long dick niggas got a certain kind of walk. You know what I mean? Because you're carrying a little extra weight. So one leg is always cocked, nigga. <laughs> you know them short dead motherfuckers, nigga, they have that straight walk. Ain't no dick in the way. Y'all, y'all, well, y'all. <laughs> There's nothing here, so, you know. <laughs> That's why they walk with their head down, nigga. They ashamed of their own shit. They all, you know, it's, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> nigga with a dick, his head up, nigga. What's happening, nigga? What's happening? What's happening? Just carrying a little weight, nigga. Just carrying a little weight. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. If you putting it down, and I mean really putting it down, you up in a woman's chest cavity. Yeah, let me explain something to you. You know, the long dick niggas in here, you know, you relax. You've heard this before. <laughs> and really, it's the not hearing that lets you know you got a long dick. Now, if you hearing your woman saying why you fucking, ooh, damn, yeah, nigga, ooh, hit it, nigga, ooh, yeah, turn it that way, smack me on the ass. If she's doing all that conversating, nigga, you short stroking. Because if you really putting some real dick up in a bitch, she can't say shit, she like. That bitch fill it up in the chest, nigga. You know what angle you hit, nigga, that shoulder go up. <laughs> you putting it down, you shouldn't be hearing shit. All you see in his faces, nigga. <laughs> and a little nigga like me, nigga, I'm a surpriser. <laughs> cause they, a surpriser, cause they don't think a nigga slanking. Nigga, hey, this bitch been over doggy style on me. Little bitty tiny motherfucker. And I told her, I said, I don't think you can handle this doggy style. She's like, oh, yes, I can. I said, well, you know, I know you short and you trying to be real woman, but I'm telling your ass, don't do this to yourself. This bitch turned around, nigga. I hit that motherfucker. Bitch fell off my dick. That bitch was laid out just like that. I'm sitting there, nigga, butt ass naked. I'm thinking I done killed the bitch. And the crazy shit, nigga, I don't know whether I should dial 911 or just put this bitch in the trunk and drop her the fuck off somewhere. <laughs> Cause all I'm thinking, I'ma be on the news for killing a bitch, nigga. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, nigga, call 911 cause the other shit is gonna end up being some more shit. So boom, I call 911, nigga, the police and the paramedics show the fuck up. I'm sitting there, nigga, with a towel wrapped around me. 
Dick still hard. So this motherfucker tired, nigga, look like a tent. This motherfucker police gonna tell me, uh, do you wanna tell me what happened? I'm like, what do you see her? And do you see this? That's pretty much what the fuck happened. She fell off my dick and I called y'all. So the paramedics, they searching for a pulse, nigga, cause when I touched, I couldn't find a motherfucking pulse. So he grabbed, he's like, she still got a pulse, she still got a pulse. So I'm like, fuck it, nigga, I'm getting dressed. Nigga, I'm getting in the ambulance. <laughs> they gonna say Eddie was all the way there, he's caring. I'm with the bitch, come on, let's go. Let's take the ride with my pussy. <laughs> nigga, we get to the hospital, I'm in the waiting area. I will go by, and the nurses start coming out, nigga, looking at me. Nigga, imagine you just sitting there, nigga, trying to get your dick to go down. Cause I don't know y'all, my shit stand up till I bust a nut, nigga. So I'm just like trying to hold this bitch. And them bitches just kept walking by looking at me strange, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I said, fuck it, nigga. I just got out and said, excuse me, man. Can I talk to the doctor? What, what, the, what the hell's going on, man? I brought my girl down here, you know. She was butt naked, ass in the air. And... So the doctor pulled me to the side. He's like, oh, nobody told you yet? I was like, ain't nobody told me shit. What's happening? He's like, well, you, you busted her ovary. That's why she blacked out. Now I understood why the nurse is looking at a nigga like that. Nigga, I, my chest said, Bakaya. The ovary buster. <laughs> I have to ask the sisters a question for a minute. If I may. Sisters, how come y'all got the best dick on earth and we get the most problems? It is a motherfucking known fact. Ain't nobody out fucking us. <laughs> you understand me? That's why white women, Asian women, all of them after us. Stop getting mad at us if you see a nigga with a white woman. We didn't ask her to come over. That bitch seen long black dick and hi. <laughs> Like a nigga gonna turn down some pussy. Oh, well, all right, yeah. I really don't wanna do this. <laughs> but why y'all got the best dick and we get the most problems? Y'all you know I mean, a white man go home, 90% of the time he's gonna hear, how was your day, dear? Dinner's ready, dear. I took care of the kids, dear. Y'all you know I mean, Latin brother go home, he gonna hear, ay, papi. Ay, papito. The shortest dick on earth, the Asian. When he go home, let me make a bath of water, rub her back, and make her feel good. <laughs> the longest dick on earth. <laughs> the nigga. When we go home, what we hear? Y'all take me out nowhere. Y'all don't y'all pray. Y'all say you got my dirty girl. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You're killing us. What is the dick so good your motherfuckers go crazy? Die, 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 die. Stress kills. Why you think black men die on the average at age 51? All that goddamn nagging. Stress causes the liver to produce massive amounts of cholesterol because the body's trying to lubricate itself and think it's going to get physical. When it don't turn physical, good cholesterol in 72 hours becomes bad. Clogging a nigga's arteries up and you killing us. Nigga, I got that bitch shit. I got that. I got that. Bitch. You bitch. You kill me, you bitch. That's why I don't get mad when I see a brother with a white woman. <laughs> he trying to live long. <laughs> like, what you doing with that white girl? I'm gonna make it to 90. <laughs> Slow down, sisters. It's rough enough being a black man in this country. Every time we walk out the door, they trying to lock us up or kill us. The fact that we made it home, start sucking our dick. <laughs> Soon as we come in the door, baby, you made it home. Relieve some stress. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're in a relationship that ain't good, leave. Yeah. 
Life is too motherfucking short. Leave. If the bitch is nagging 24 7, nigga, don't take me away. How y'all say, y'all say, y'all say, y'all say, y'all say, Leave that bitch, she's killing you. <laughs> Ladies, relax. <laughs> Talking to my sisters, relax. Why is all of that? It's not necessary. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Don't try to deflect. I ain't even done with your ass yet. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's talk to the brothers. <laughs> Motherfucker won't be quiet enough to learn something. Let's talk to the brothers. <laughs> I'm talking for the brothers because we the one that end up dead. Y'all live to be 80, 90 years old. Nigga dead from that shit there. Let's talk to the brothers. <laughs> I don't know what man with you, but nigga, get out while you can. <laughs> and you're not gonna win an argument with a woman. I don't give a fuck what nationality. You're not. <laughs> they did a scientific study, man. Women use about 50,000 words a day. A man only uses 5,000. So ladies, by the time we get off work, we already use the words up. <laughs> We get home and you motherfuckers want to talk. <laughs> so did you notice I got my hair done? Uh-huh, bitch, what you talking about? <laughs> you understand me? A man has a one-track mind. Women, y'all have five brains. You understand me? I had two uncles that were pimps, so I had bitch knowledge and whole wisdom before I was 12. Y'all have five brains. A woman can compartmentalize. Y'all can think in five different directions at once. A woman could be on the phone with a girlfriend, breastfeeding the baby, stirring up a pot of soup, and sucking a dick. They some bad motherfuckers. <laughs> a man's got a one-track mind. When we watching the game, that's all the fuck we doing. I'm gonna say this again, ladies. When we watching the motherfucking game, that's all the fuck we doing. We so into the game, niggas like we playing it. Jump that motherfucker, shake it, nigga. Ah! And here y'all come sliding up next to a nigga. We don't hear shit. Sound like Charlie Brown school teacher. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Until the commercial come on, hair. What, what, your hair again? You didn't notice I got my hair done. Okay, baby, look. Did you notice I got a new gray hair on my left nut? So we even, we both didn't notice some shit. I don't know why you keep talking about your damn hair. I ain't gonna do nothing but fuck it and mess it up tonight. <laughs> you understand me? Because women always ask us, don't love the outer me, love the inner me. Then why y'all keep talking about the outer you? Did you notice this? Did you know? Bitch, I love you. I don't give a fuck if you was on chemotherapy, bald headed, bitch, fuck your hair. I'll grab you by your bald ass head and we can still get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired of these tricky women, man. Just stop playing, motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You come out with the little mini skirt on with half your pussy hanging out. I mean, look what y'all do to attract dick and act like you don't want to fuck. You pluck your eyebrows, you put on lipstick, then outline that to make it look like you can really suck a dick. <laughs> you wear a little low cut top, you understand me, with your titties up there, look like a booty on your chest. Every time I look at one of them, I just want to wipe it. <laughs> and act like you don't want to fuck. You don't see a man with a pair of Speedos on with one nut hanging out trying to attract you motherfuckers. <laughs> Stop fronting. Give up the pussy. It is not your pussy. I'm going to reiterate this. This is not your pussy. Every woman in here is sitting on something that don't belong to you. You understand me? Adam gave up a rib to create pussy. It's not yours. It got no use for you. What do you do with the pussy? Nothing. Only thing you can do is piss. It serves no other purpose for you. It is your job to carry the pussy for us. Keep it clean until we get there. <laughs> You're the pussy keepers. <laughs> but that shit belonged to a man. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> God invented pussy. It's his greatest invention. Let me explain something to you. 
when he created, you know, giraffes, buds, trees, oceans, that was cool. That nigga showed out when he made pussy. You can see God in heaven. Jesus, I got something, nigga. Wait till you see it. Adam gonna trip the fuck out. Hey, Pop, can I have some? No, nigga, you gotta go down and get nailed up. That's a whole nother story. Just hold on. Leave me alone, nigga. I'm creating. We'll start out with a line. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a little hole in it. Got to use the pinky, because if I use that big God finger, niggas going to fall in. <laughs> I'm going to put some lips on it. Mm, that way it looks like, you know, when they eat it, they're... <laughs> hey, Jesus, give me some oil. No, the flavored, nigga. Come on. They're going to be eating this motherfucker here. Mm-hmm. Give me some more, nigga. It's got to last a lifetime. Cause ain't nothing worse than dry pussy. <laughs> Might as well jack off with sandpaper, nigga. <laughs> All right, nigga, uh, 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 give me some hair. What hair? The hair I made your afro out of, nigga, something left over. I knew they was gonna try to kill a nigga for the special, but not right now. I'm still here, right? God damn. Them white people are quick. <laughs> Them motherfuckers outside, the niggers in there talking that nigger madness. Get somebody in there right now. Shoot him! <laughs> but nigga, he get the afro, nigga, and he put the hair around the pussy. Because you, know, you got to outline it. That way a blind motherfucker used the Braille system. <laughs> see, this going to help Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles out, nigga. You see? And then most of the time, they going to fuck. It's going to be dark, so you know, need to find it. You need to find it. <laughs> Too many good pussies going by the wayside. Got all these licky licky girls running around here. Little Kit Kat bitches. <laughs> you know how lesbians say hello? Hello, how you doing? <laughs> it's an epidemic. Wasting all that good pussy. Now, I don't mind you being lesbian. You know, you can bring some extra pussy. I don't mind you licking it, clean it up for daddy, cause you know, move out the way so I can go and do what the fuck I do. You understand me? <laughs> you know, you know. I have to say this. Women always talk about you, you, you came too quick. So, so what? Oh, what? When was it our job to make sure you motherfucking came? If I can come in five seconds, bitch, get your shit together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Heat that motherfucker up. <laughs> get it just about there as soon as the helmet hit it. Pow, you gone. <laughs> I got shit to do. I can't stand your pussy all day. Shit, bitch, I got a job. <laughs> and they always act like pussy is of higher case value than dick. You know what I mean? I gave you all this pussy. Bitch, I gave you some dick. We even. <laughs> And men, let me explain something to y'all. Not one vibrator on earth can fuck with Ned Dick in this room. I don't give a fuck if you the little Asian dick. <laughs> you understand me? Dick is an amazing thing. We defy the laws of gravity. A dick has to stand up against gravity. <laughs> you understand me? Half of the blood in your body to fill that motherfucker up. You understand me? Then we go down up in your motherfucking ass. It's a rocket ship. <laughs> And with half the blood in our body, still work your motherfucking ass out. <laughs> we some amazing motherfuckers, niggas. <laughs> Pussy got an easy job, just later. Just, you know, get in that position, thank you. <laughs> 
I see a lot of my chocolate sisters here, beautiful thing with all that ass. Mm. No, nothing like a sister's ass, you understand I me? Mean? You know, I mean, when you hit it doggy style, a ripple go through that motherfucker. And it come back and hit you. <laughs> you understand know I me? Mean? That motherfucker fight back, nigga. You know, fire! Oh, you think you're a bad motherfucker, don't you? Fire! Well, I ain't done with your ass. <laughs> Y'all watch that show, uh, uh, How to Catch a Predator? <laughs> to me, this is the funniest shit on TV. So they always had that little white girl setting them up. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> them motherfuckers get out the car, paranoid them mother. Some of us walk in the door. Hello? <laughs> I'm in the shower. I'll be out in a minute. I left some milk and cookies on the bar. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm here. The motherfuckers start getting comfortable. Then. Yeah. You know what's going through their mind. Tear this little motherfucker up. <laughs> milk and cookies. Got the condoms, yeah, okay. Then that motherfucker come out from behind it. How you doing? <laughs> that motherfucker don't know whether to sit down or get up and run, nigga. <laughs> play it off, play it off, play it off. How's it going? How, how, how you doing? So, uh, what are you doing here? Just having some milk and cookies. <laughs> so, uh, how old are you? 47. So what are you doing at a 12-year-old's house? She told me she was 13. <laughs> Neither motherfuckers act like a year gonna make a difference. You told me she was 13. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, how long have you been corresponding with her online? Ah, uh, just a couple of times, you know. Just, uh, you know, talking about the weather. <laughs> well, we have the transcripts right here. Let's take a look at them. Uh, let's see, uh, let me put my dick on your forehead to make sure you got it on your mind. Is that not you? <laughs> no, 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 wait, there's more. Uh, let me put my dick in your ear to make sure you can hear me coming. Is that you? <laughs> That's when that motherfucker start getting nervous, nigga. He drinking that milk like cognac. So, um, are you her, are you her father? Nope. Her uncle? Nope. Her big brother. No, oh, no, no, no. So am I, am, I, am I free to go? Oh, yeah, you're free to go. But before you go, I just want you to know, I'm Mike Powers from Dateline NBC. <laughs> nigga, them cameras come out, that motherfucker, shit. That motherfucker run outside, think he got away, nigga, the pole, get on the ground! <laughs> I say we kill all them motherfuckers, man. Because ain't no rehabilitating a freak like that, man. You understand me? <laughs> Cause them babies, nigga, I got three daughters. I wish a motherfucker would. You understand me? Nigga, I'll be on the news for some real shit, not wrecking the car, not saying nigga for killing this motherfucker. Nigga, I'll be in jail with a Kool-Aid smile. <laughs> What'd you do, Ed? You ain't fucking nobody else, kids. <laughs> I'm glad to see, you know, a lot of brothers starting to step up and take care of them babies, man. That's proper. You know what I mean? Because we, we can't wait on the government to fix us, nigga. We have to fix us. You know what I mean? Shit. Charity started home, nigga. So, you know, let's fix each other. Because <laughs> we, we've been broke for a while. <laughs> and we need some fixing. This nigga, I moved from Missouri out to L.A., nigga. And this was like back in the 80s, nigga. This before Boys in the Hood shit came on. So I didn't know shit about Bloods and Crips, nigga. I'm in Compton, nigga. It's my birthday, July 15th. I had on a full-on red sweatsuit. Walking up to the, to the liquor store, nigga. 
I'm going to get me a 40 ounce, nigga. I get up to the motherfucking store, nigga. I cop my shit. I come out, nigga. It's just blue rags everywhere, nigga. Yeah, niggas doing this shit. You know, I'm from Kansas City. I was like, damn, nigga, they got a lot of deaf mutes out in this motherfucker. <laughs> All these motherfuckers sign languages, nigga. I'm like, I don't. They like, nah, what you doing all that dead on? Cuz? I'm like, we related? He like, nah, cuz, what's up with that dead, cuz? What's up with that dead? I'm like, nigga, I'm alive, nigga, holding the 40, looking at you, dead what? He like, you ain't from around here, huh, cuz? I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm from Kansas City. All right, nigga, we gonna give you a pass, cuz. You know, don't let us catch you in that motherfucker dead walking up around here. You need to talk to your peoples, nigga. and strolled the fuck off like that, nigga. I thought the nigga had the shit, nigga. I'm like, somebody need to buy that nigga a belt, too, nigga. <laughs> so I get back to the crib, I'm like, hey, 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 cuz, nigga, what's going on, man? I just had a lot of blue people <laughs> with guns looking at a nigga and told me I had dead on and shit, nigga. He's like, oh, cuz, I should've told you, man, you can't be wearing no red around here, cuz, you understand? Know it's like the blood and the crypt thing, nigga, you know what I'm saying, cuz? I said, well, nigga, you could have told me that before I walked out the motherfucking door. <laughs> Damn near getting my head blown off in this motherfucker. Because <laughs> I know white people are tricky, man. They name shit exactly what it is. White House. Ain't nothing but white people in there. <laughs> Senate. Senate to the White House. <laughs> Library. That's where they bury their motherfucking lies. <laughs> Police. They fuck with poor people leased out by rich folks. <laughs> You know what I mean? They break down their little motherfucking shit, you know. CIA, stands for cocaine in America. <laughs> FBI, fuck black individuals. <laughs> and FEMA stands for fuck everybody, mostly Africans. <laughs> <laughs> and it tripped me to fuck out how fast FEMA could get there to save rich white people in Malibu. You understand me? Them motherfucker house burned down that day. FEMA right there. You need anything? We have condos for you. Probably need a Mercedes. Come on. <laughs> Niggas is still down in Katrina. What do? <laughs> Can we get something, nigga? I know it's three years later. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest land grab in history, nigga. That's what the fuck that was. Them motherfuckers did the Louisiana Purchase again with no money down. <laughs> <laughs> nigga that understand how we built the pyramids, shit. That's another shit that cracked me up. White people say they don't believe in aliens till you ask them who built the pyramids. Aliens. <laughs> then ask them any other time. There's no such thing as alien, crazy nigger. <laughs> they just don't want to believe a black man designed something that they can't fuck with to this day. You understand me? Motherfucker, you, know, you know how we built the pyramids? You ever play in the sandbox? You gotta ask a simple question. Just always flip the script. What if up is down and down is up? What if you look down into space, standing up on Earth? This is how we built the pyramids. You play in the sandbox, it's easy to move a mountain of sand into position. Once you wet sand, it holds its form like concrete. You put the first brick at the apex of this motherfucker, all right? You move sand out of this corner and that corner and place bricks there on both sides all the way to the top. Now you let the sand dry out and drop that brick right through that bitch. Sand under pressure when it's dry moves like fluid. That's why you always find viaducts in all of the motherfucking pyramids. So the sand can shoot the fuck out the bitch. Now you have a hollow chasm. <laughs> and it's built into the ground in the same specs. It's not really a pyramid, it's a diamond. It is now topped off by quartz, and at the bottom is topped off by quartz. When moonlight comes through, it refracts off of the quartz in the bottom, the first refracting laser, <laughs> illuminating the night sky, which is why they called Pharaoh God, because he could turn night into day. Thus the all-seeing eye on your dollar bill above the pyramid. Because the only part of the human body made out of quartz is a human eye. When it dries out, it's small granules of quartz. That's why light transfers through it. Holla at your boy. <laughs> and the NAACP, I have to holler at these niggas too. Because I done had about enough of these ignorant motherfuckers. 
You understand me? When I was on the Malguinetti TV show, I remember them talking shit about black shows. There's one with UPN. They're like, it's a buffoonery. Get them off the air. What the fuck was me and Malcolm show buffoonery? Two young black men own their own motherfucking business, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Opportunities. What the fuck are you doing? Then they say, well, let's get it off the air. You don't have an out of work black actors fun, motherfucker. <laughs> In one breath, they scream, ain't enough black shows on. Then you get them on, get them off. Well, nigga, make your motherfucking mind up. And if you really want to fight the fight, go talk to the owners of the goddamn network. Not the black actors. We actors. We don't write the shit. If you don't like the words that's in that shit, then you need to go holler at the network and ask for some black writers. Me and Malcolm, two black motherfuckers on the show got 12 white writers. What the fuck do they know about being young, gifted, and black? That's like me writing for Seinfeld. I don't know that shit. <laughs> you ever notice? You ever notice? You ever notice when somebody says, pull up a chair? They never pull the chair. <laughs> Act the fuck up, man. Let's be us. In all our beauty. Mm, whether you light skin, you know, caramel, chocolate, you know what I mean? Whether you leave your fingerprints on charcoal, who give a fuck? Because <laughs> we need to stop that shit, you know what I'm saying? We fight amongst ourselves just because somebody's skin is lighter than yours. Shut the fuck up. That motherfucker's skin might be light, but still gonna have a problem getting a job like your black ass. Because when white people see them, they see a nigga. <laughs> and who thought that we would see this shit again? You understand me? This is fucking me up, man. These motherfuckers riding around with this shit on their trucks and shit. You understand me? That's like showing a Jewish person a oven <laughs> from Germany. You understand me? What the fuck you doing, you crazy ass crackers? <laughs> hey, down there, the, the Gen 6, nigga. That shit fucked me up, nigga. I canceled a tour to get down there. It was like, what the fuck? Little kids. If they gotta go to school, nigga, and see this hanging off the tree, you supposed to get your ass whooped. <laughs> and we all had a fight in high school. You know, you get suspended. Couple of weeks, you come back, that's it. How the fuck you gonna put kids on trial? trying to give motherfuckers 20 and 30 motherfucking years for having a gun that wasn't theirs. The white boy had the gun. They disarmed this gun. They didn't shoot him with his own shit. They just whooped his ass. <laughs> and they got to get locked the fuck up. White people, boy, and then they try to tell you there's no more racism. Nigga, what? I know y'all ain't bought that bullshit they've been slanging on this boob tube, nigga. Everything's fine. Ku Klux Klan. Them's about some pussy motherfuckers. You know what I mean? How you gonna hide yourself? Pussy, take your shit off. You know what I mean? When a nigga mad, we let you see the face. Nigga, it's me. <laughs> I mean, we went to war in Africa, nigga. We didn't invent the gun. The gun is invented by somebody who is frightened. You understand me? We fight in Africa. We have spirits. We want to get right up on you. Because if I got to take a motherfucker life, I want you to know why. <laughs> You know, I'm up on you because you shouldn't have did that shit, nigga. <laughs> so, you know, white people come over there trying to camp conquer Africa. They getting their ass whooped by spears. Them motherfuckers went right over Smith and Wesson's house. Are you finished? <laughs> you have the gun. I don't want to get close to those niggas. They're quick. <laughs> you know, now these punk motherfuckers at a distance. Pay out! Hurry, reload. They're coming. This is some punk shit. So when you're doing a drive-by, my brother, this is not no heroic shit. This is some punk shit. You really a scared motherfucker. How scared are your motherfucking, is your motherfucking ass? You in a car doing 20 and shooting. You chicken shit motherfucker. Do it like old school niggas did in the 70s. Nigga, do a walk up on. You damn me a motherfucking drive-by, you bitch. Take out, out, drive, nigga, drive, drive. Scary-ass motherfucker. That's why I'm going to open up a, a drive-by shooting range. Because these motherfuckers can't aim either, nigga. They always hitting babies and mamas and shit. 
They give them a drive-by shooting range. Nigga, you got to lead your target. You're doing 20 miles an hour, nigga. Then check the trajectory of the wind. <laughs> so you can get the nigga you aiming for and stop killing uh, women. <laughs> and white people went to war after OJ won the case. It's called the quiet war, nigga. As soon as OJ won that case, you can see on news stations everywhere, they're like, <laughs> you know, niggas like this, nigga, oh, he won. <laughs> and we ain't cheering for OJ, we cheering that somebody black finally won. <laughs> OJ ain't never been our nigga, man. He been hanging out with white folks. Y'all designed that crazy motherfucker. <laughs> then if he fuck up, you want to send him back to us. We don't want the nigga. That's y'all niggas slept in y'all beds, everything. That's y'all niggas. Y'all keep that motherfucker. <laughs> Trying to ship motherfuckers back to out after y'all fucked their brain up here, you can have him. I mean, fuck that, nigga, shit. I don't know if OJ killed or what, nigga, but goddamn, nigga, how you get back in court? <laughs> you know what I mean? If you did it, nigga, and then gonna write a book, if I hadn't a duck. I sat at home, I said, somebody shoot this nigga. You just asking for white people to fuck with you for life. If I had a done it. <laughs> and I didn't know OJ was gangster like that, niggas. You listen to that tape of him in Vegas in the room. Sit your ass down before I knock you down. <laughs> this the juice, nigga, this the juice. You can't run from me, this the juice. Think you can walk up out of here with my shit? Then you can just take my shit. Look at this, the juice. This, the juice. <laughs> Say, that's my fucking OJ. is a gangster like him. <laughs> and all that, and what color was all his friends? <laughs> As I said, white people, that's y'all problem. <laughs> Still hanging out with y'all crazy motherfuckers. Come on, OJ, they hurt your shit. <laughs> They set OJ up. How everybody else got a camera and a tape recorder but OJ? <laughs> they set his smile smooth up. OJ, they got your shit. You're up in the room. Come on. No, fuck that. I got my gun, man. I got my gun. Let's go. Dude's like, all right, man. You got my shit? <laughs> got my motherfucking shit? Now, you know it probably took that nigga half hour to get to the room with them bad motherfucking NFL knees <laughs> and that big water head, nigga. OJ head so big, nigga, he didn't have to wear a helmet. They just paint a motherfucking insignia on the side of that nigga and hang a chin strap off his ears, nigga. That's one of the motherfuckers, you know which way they going, but when they turn their head. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. <laughs> you can just see on that nigga face, nigga. <laughs> He's sitting in that motherfucking courtroom just <laughs> having flashbacks, nigga. <laughs> shouldn't have had that last drink. <laughs> Yo, nigga start thinking about all the shit he shouldn't have did, nigga. Should have told them motherfuckers, go get it for me if you know what's up there. <laughs> but that's what the fuck I would have did. Hey, Eddie, they got your shit. Well, nigga, why you still here? Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to give OJ a hundred and some odd motherfucking years. Hell yeah, nigga. They don't want this nigga to resurface ever. <laughs> he is a stain on the white conscience of America. This nigga must go. That's the one that got away. And ever since OJ, they started fucking with every black celebrity. I'm telling you, they got a hit list. Right after OJ, them motherfuckers had a white meeting. We're going to tear down all of their fucking heroes. It's going down, Okay. CBS, ABC, NBC, everybody on board? Let's go. <laughs> them motherfuckers went right after Michael Jackson after that. Michael's sleeping with the kids. I'll just put that out there, let it float. <laughs> you know what I mean? And us as a people bought right into the shit. We all grew up with Michael Jackson since what fucking head, nigga. We know that nigga ain't fucking no kids. He might be fucking y'all wives. <laughs> shit, I had a bitch told me she slept with Michael. She said the thriller is thriller. She said, the reason that nigga wear one glove, he's scared to touch his own shit. 
She said, that nigga have to moonwalk to pull dick out of it. And you know he getting some pussy, nigga. Your butt is mine. <laughs> hey, fuck no motherfucking kids, nigga. This a man that just never had a childhood. When you get rich, what do you do? You buy shit you never had. You know, we get rich, we had a childhood. We played on the playground, you know, play street football and shit. This nigga never had them days. He ain't never rehearsing, nigga, for the next show. <laughs> Looking out the window, he wanna go play. You know, Papa Joe like, sit your ass down and get that damn routine. Get that damn routine. <laughs> I said, stick it, boy. <laughs> said, good enough for you, man. That's probably why that nigga entertained angry, nigga. Fucking go outside, man. I wanna fucking go outside. <laughs> so he trying to purchase a childhood. You know, Neverland and Ferris wheels and shit. You know, we buy like dogs and hamsters. This motherfucker got giraffes and monkeys. <laughs> Cause he got that kind of paper, nigga. I want the monkey. <laughs> sure you don't want a little hamster? No, no, I want the monkey. <laughs> and Bubbles, that's a strong little motherfucker. That motherfucker grabbed my arm one day, nigga, I'm looking at Mike. And you know, you don't want to go off and... I'm about to fuck your monkey up. <laughs> you don't get this little strong motherfucker. <laughs> Unabolved son of a bitch. <laughs> and my, Michael got that motherfucker on like, Pebbles! That motherfucker like you F-O-I, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. They went after Mike, nigga. And I blame the parents myself. Because who the fuck is going to let their kids stay at a nigga house that wears glittering socks, <laughs> has a monkey, and a glove? The parents have a problem. You understand me? White people are crazy, as usual. No, you can stay, Timmy. Michael's cool. Black parents, you know, we love Michael, but you know, little nigga be like, Daddy, can I stay over at Michael's house? Sit your motherfucking ass down. <laughs> you can watch that nigga video, but you ain't staying over there. <laughs> and little niggas, you know what I'm saying, would have jacked Mike. Because <laughs> if Mike would have tried anything strange with a little nigga, nigga be like, hey, no, my no, no, daddy told me about that shit. Come on up out them socks, nigga. No, I want the glove too, nigga, I want the glove. Hey, Lil Ray Ray, get that monkey, nigga, get that monkey. <laughs> About this bitch, nigga, this motherfucker here. Sell these socks on eBay, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I think they have a thing with Mike. Anything named Michael, if you, you notice the shit. Because in the Bible, it said the devil was kicked out of heaven by the archangel Michael. So the devil has a problem with anything named Michael. Michael Jackson, Michael Tyson, Michael Vick. <laughs> I'm glad my name ain't Michael. <laughs> Man, shit, they be fucking with the mics, nigga. The only Michael they couldn't get was Michael Jordan. Oh, they tried. <laughs> Don't think they didn't pull the trigger on it. They're like, he's gambling. Let him, everybody, everybody know, he's a gambler. Point shaving, I think that's what the nigga's doing. David Stern came down, nigga, you gonna retire for three years. I don't know, nigga, I love the game, nigga. You gonna play baseball, you are the NBA, nigga. If they tear you down, there is no NBA. Baseball's the game. <laughs> you know that little walk David Stern be having, I've said it and that's that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. Hell yeah, man. Ain't mess with Bill. Yeah. Cause I still think that was a setup, nigga. How the fuck your son get shot on the 405 freeway? You know, that's right after he said, I'm gonna buy NBC. They was like, oh, really? <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> we want this Tupac and Biggie gone. 
Get him out of here. They talk too much. Especially that Paka Rocker. You know how white people fuck names up, nigga? Paka Rocker. <laughs> Hell yeah, shit. <laughs> you gonna meet me backstage, baby? You ain't gonna kill me, right? How's your ovaries? Mm. Uh -uh, uh. A good show starts in the dressing room and works its way to the stage. Will somebody give this is like the young lady a backstage pass? You understand know I me? Mean? Oh, you have one. Oh, you got the hookup. You done already sucked the dick. What the? <laughs> and it wasn't mine. What the fuck? <laughs> Suck one of the cameraman dicks or something. <laughs> I need to get backstage. <laughs> And I'ma know exactly what cameraman did it. If the early in the show nigga one of them cameras ain't motherfucking on, I know who did the shit. How did I know? You just told everybody, motherfucker. What you mean, how I know? You said I already got a backstage pass. Everybody heard you? That means. <laughs> you should never suck anybody dick before the motherfucker whose show it is. Don't make no damn saying. If you're gonna be a groupie, have groupie etiquette. <laughs> My motherfucking hero passed away last year. Richard Pryor. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Richard, Richard raised me for the last 17 years. You know, it's the only man I let say, you know, you know I fucked your mama. <laughs> he swore me down, I was his son, nigga. And I'm like, nigga might be right. I didn't meet my father until I was 16. This nigga half Jamaican, half Chinese. Didn't look like a nigga, you know. Mama probably got some secrets. <laughs> but Richard's like, what year was you born? I said 68. He's like, I was on tour then, motherfucker. <laughs> Your mama don't want to tell you, nigga, I got the pussy. I got the pussy. <laughs> so every Thursday and Sunday, you know, it's me and Richard hangout time. You know, I go by the house and shit. And we sitting there chilling like a motherfucker, nigga. You know, he's just telling me shit. You know, I'm like, Richard, you know, nigga, let me get some of that wisdom. He's like, let me show you something. What? You remind me of myself when I was 25. Don't change a goddamn thing. Now, niggas gonna be scared of your motherfucking ass. And I'm talking about them white niggas on them TVs and shit. Cause they know, they don't know what the fuck gonna come out your mouth next. <laughs> See, the rest of them niggas is safe. Cause they never say nigga. But you, what? Mm -hmm. They gonna pay you nigga and probably kill you too. <laughs> See, I know they cracking up in heaven. Richard got up there, nigga. God love that nigga so much. I bet you God did the introduction. <laughs> this next man I'm bringing to the stage is uh, my favorite funny motherfucker. That's right, God said motherfucker. <laughs> I want to bring him to the stage. I want the angels to put the wings together because you motherfuckers ain't got hands. <laughs> This nigga here, I was going to send him to hell, but he already been on fire. <laughs> Richard Pry, You know, Richard come walking up. <laughs> Give it up for God. That's my nigga. <laughs> he said he might not come when you call, but he always right on time. I just want to know what kind of watch the motherfucker got. <laughs> I've been in a wheelchair for 11 years, motherfucker. What the fuck was you thinking? <laughs> That's when the lightning hit. Just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eddie Griffin. Y'all been wonderful. God bless. Peace.